Hey beautiful people, how are you? I hope you all are doing good. Sorry for the background horns. Uh, so today I am back with another amazing custom room for our Redmi Note 10 as you can see here. I am having the uh, amazing Mojito in my hands and this is the uh, Spark OS. Let me show you its Android version and other uh, options. As you can see here it is based on the Android 13 and uh, it, this one is the Spark OS unofficial build and uh, it is based on the latest security patch uh, i don't know why it is not the latest but it is the uh, 5 september 2022 and uh, it's uh, spark os version is not mentioned i don't know why let me check it again in the about phone section as you can see here they have not mentioned uh, any uh, spark os version so they have not uh, mentioned on uh, the developer have not mentioned on the telegram post and they have not mentioned in the about phone section i don't know why i hope you will like it and uh, in this video i will be reviewing it out i will also show you how you can install it on your redmi note 10 and uh, without any further ado let's get started so first of all let's talk about the stability of this rom this rom is completely stable like there is no any bug or issue and this is on the completely legless ROM as you can see here it is just opening quickly and the app opening animations are also played well and in the camera here we have this simple camera you can record the videos and capture the images as well you can also scan the QS, uh, QR scan here we also have the QR scan uh, to scan the QR code and uh, from here you can also get the uh, quality options and if you want more options like portrait mode and other night mode and other options then you can go for the uh, gcam by the way you can download the gcam from our website 95 modes i will drop the download link in the description box so by the way the rom is full of features and uh, a lot of customizations are also available in this rom but first let's start with the home screen and in the home screen here we have uh, launcher launcher with some minimum settings from here you can adjust the icon settings home screen settings abra settings and you can also adjust the resets from here you can also enable the quick action which will be uh, right at the bottom of the resets as you can see here then we have misc and uh, after it here we have uh, widget option from here you can add a lot of widgets to your home screen and customize it and uh, then we have wallpaper and style option from the wallpaper here we have some wallpapers like print style like we have the spark space strand dimensions unsplash and elementary uh, wallpapers you can use any of these and after it here we have wallpaper colors and from the left you can access the google feeds which is also known as google now from here you will get uh, news according to the topics you have selected in the google application after the Corvus OS, this ROM is uh, on the second number for the gaming. As you can see here, the slogan right here, it's the game time. As you can see here on the widget of the home screen. And here we also have the game space right here. Uh, you can uh, enable the options right from here. Like uh, here we have the, some tweaks to enable or disable while playing the gaming. And you can also uh, add any game into the library. So that's mean you can play any game on this rom this will be uh, super smooth and uh, let's check the geekbench scores i have tested it on and uh, let's go to the history click on it and from here you can check the single core uh, benchmark which is the 509 which is awesome which is really uh, amazing score for this device and on the multi core it just scored 1364 scores and uh, from the system information you can check the kernel information right from here which is the linux 4.1.4 and uh, this score is pretty much impressive and uh, it can be used for daily driver as well in the applications we don't have a lot of applications pre-installed like we don't have junky applications we only get the uh, needed applications pre-installed but if you want any other application or game you can go into the play store and download it uh, from your from the play store as well and uh, now let's dig into the settings in the settings uh, we have customizations as well uh, but before going to the settings we have to talk about uh, about the quick settings from the quick setting this is the layout of quick setting it is pretty much simple and unique 
uh, from the bottom you can access the power button and setting option and from this edit button you can edit the quick setting shortcuts and uh, in the settings here we have a unique uh, layout as you can see here the user interface is pretty much unique and new and uh, you can also notice the uh, new themed icons in this ROM it looks pretty much cool and it makes this ROM unique let's go back to the settings the settings first of all we have connected devices uh, Wi-Fi then we have fireworks in the fireworks we have all available customizations first of all we have themes in the themes we have monet engine from here you can uh, uh, select the custom color from right here you can make it more colorful or brightful and uh, then we have font settings from here you can change the font style then we have icon pack style from here you can change the icon packs uh, then we have signal icon style wi-fi icon style icon shape and uh, you can also change the navbar style right from here then we have main menu layout here we have several options like OC, Oxygen OS, Spark, Spark Clean. Let's try this one. Click on OK. It will restart the UI and it's just pretty much cool. It looks pretty much awesome, isn't it? Let us know in the comment section. And uh, if we go back to the themes again, then we have some other options like labels, brightness slider. You can change its position, uh, QS panel style and uh, some animation styles then we have lock screen from the lock screen you can change its style you can change the weather settings and you can change the quick settings and other settings like ripple effect and other fingerprint options then we have status bar from here you can access the status bar items you can manage them then we have clock style date and time then we have uh, battery bar you can enable it and disable it you can also change its colors then we have network indicator you can also enable the custom logo and you can also change its style let's try the google one among us and you can also change its position as well then we have colored icons and show notification count and some other icon options then we have battery style percentage style and you can also change the battery style for the quick settings as well then we have gestures in the gesture we have system settings in the system gestures we have quickly open camera system navigation bar one handed mode which is working pretty much cool you can operate the whole screen by using only one hand and this one is my favorite feature and then we have press and hold power button swipe three finger for screen shoot uh, playback control double tap uh, to check the phone let me check if it works yes it is working pretty much cool and it pretty much looks like always on display but it is not the always on display and then we have prevent ringing after it we have toggle torch when screen off volume rocker wake and some other gestures like tap on lock screen tap on status bar tap to wake on doors and then we have misc in the misc we have notification torch uh, sorry mode notification light battery light screen of animation heads up and some other uh, options and here we also have the smart pixel which will be helpful to reduce power consumption and uh, then we have ad blocker uh, pre-installed ad blocker in this room which will prevent uh, ads from the websites and applications which you will be running on this room then we have power menu from here you can also enable the power options enable or disable the advanced reboot as well as you can see here this one is also useful option then we have display in the display we have all same options like uh, here we have pocket detection tap to wake and all other options all the options are say, same you can also change the color profile and uh, let's check the battery the battery performance of this rom is also pretty much awesome from battery you can access the battery usage battery saver adaptive battery and you can also enable the idle manager which will stop all known essential background process when the device is on and you can also check the uh, battery temperature then we have storage sound and vibration and in the sound and vibration we don't have any special option like uh, Dolby Atmos or any sound enhancer so all the options are same like previous ROMs then we have utilities 
in the utilities we have all other uh, advanced options from the android 13 then we have lock screen and security now in the security all security options are working and present like fingerprint is working fine all other lo on screen locks are working but we don't have the face unlock in this room maybe it will be added in, in future updates then we have location, safety, emergency, digital well-being, Google accounts, system. In the system, we have languages and input, date and time, uh, live translate, gesture, uh, which I have uh, talked about early in this video. Then we have backup rules, multiple users, reset options. And at the end, we have the about phone section. From here, you can check its Android version, which is the Android 13. And uh, its Spark OS version is not mentioned anywhere not on the uh, about phone section of this room and not on the telegram post and its security patch is 5 september 2022 i don't know why they are not using the october security patch in this room and uh, this was the review video of spark os for our redmi note 10 so this room is completely stable you can use it as your daily driver and if you want to install this room on your redmi note 10 then the download link and the installation instructions are in the description go and follow them and you will be able to install the latest spark os on your redmi note 10 and the installation process is not that difficult it is pretty much simple just download the rom format the data and flash the rom and you are ready to go so if you have any question or queries about this video you can uh, reach us on the telegram the down uh, the telegram channel link and the group link is in the description and you can also comment down below i hope you guys like this video if you really did hit the like button don't forget to subscribe my channel keep supporting thanks for watching peace